Today, we're going to introduce iPhone 5. And I'd like to show it to you right now. So let's take a look at the brand new iPhone 5. It is an absolute jewel. It is the most beautiful product we have ever made, bar none. We'll put a video up on screen so you can see it even bigger, since it's so small. And this is iPhone 5. I'm going to take you through it, and I hope when we're done, you'll love it just as much as we do. Thank you. So, iPhone 5. It is made entirely of glass and aluminum. It's designed and built to an exacting level of standard, unlike anything we or anyone in our industry has made before. And I don't think it is an exaggeration to say that the hardware and software engineering that has gone into this product is the most challenging our team has ever taken on. And what they've accomplished is simply amazing. So let's walk through it. First, iPhone 5 is the thinnest phone we have ever made. It is the lightest as well. The new iPhone 5 is just 7.6 millimeters thin. That's 18% thinner than the iPhone 4S. And best of all, it's the world's thinnest smartphone. It also weighs just 112 grams. That's 20% lighter, one-fifth lighter than the iPhone 4S. Volumetrically, it's smaller as well. So before we get into it, this is the monumental, monumental challenge the team had. Can you make a phone that has everything the iPhone 4S has before you even talk about new features in a design that's thinner, lighter, and smaller than the previous product? It is really easy to make a new product that's bigger Everyone does that. That's not the challenge. The challenge is to make it better and smaller. So let's start with the product. It starts, of course, with the display. iPhone 5 is a retina display, the same 326 pixels per inch. And it is a stunning display in every way. Every iPhone to date has had a 3.5 inch screen. But the new screen on iPhone 5 is a 4 inch display. In terms of pixels, it's 1,136 by 640. So the same width, but taller, giving it a natural 16 by 9 aspect ratio. But why would we design it that way? What is the design center for a phone? It's this. It's your hand. A phone should feel great in your hand, and more importantly, it should be easy to use with this magical device we all carry called a horizontally opposed thumb. It does most of the hard work for us. So when you carry your phone, it should fit beautifully in your hand. It should be easy to send messages, type emails, surf the web, and that's just how we designed iPhone 5. 